I'm DJ Michael Joseph, and on this episode of VDJ How To, we take a look at how to add non native effects like Virtual DJ 7 Legacy Effects to Virtual DJ 2020. For whatever reason, you may not like the way native Virtual DJ 2020 audio effects sound or work. I'm going to show you how to find, install, and use other effects inside Virtual DJ 2020. There are still many great effects left over from Virtual DJ 7. If you want them for now, you can still get them at the VDJ Legacy site. Simply go to www.virtualdj.com forward slash add-ons. You can log in there with your regular Virtual DJ login. You can search and pick any you want, but the effect I'm searching for today is the backspin effect. If you search for backspin, then click on it, you will see not all effects are for both PC and Mac. As you see, this one is for PC only. Just click on it and download it. Now simply click again to install it. Now open Virtual DJ to see if you have two backspin effects, the native effect and the Virtual DJ 7 effect. You will see you only have one backspin effect, the stock Virtual DJ 2020 effect that was also part of Virtual DJ 8 and Virtual DJ 2018. To make the Virtual DJ 7 effect work, all you have to do is rename it. First, let's look at the stock or native backspin effect. It's usually found under User, Admin, Documents, Virtual DJ, and Plugins, and it's named Native Underscore Backspin INI. The add-on effects are usually installed one folder further in. User, Admin, Documents, Virtual DJ, Plugins, then Sound Effect. There you will see the Backspin DLL file. Simply rename it. Since this came from Virtual DJ 7, I'm going to rename this file Backspin7.dll. Now open Virtual DJ and you will see you have two Backspin effects, the Native effect and the Backspin 7 effect. You will see here in a minute why the two sound very different. The Native Backspin gives us just two parameters to change, length and if we want it to stop at the end. The Virtual DJ 7 effect gives us speed and length, and that is what makes the difference. Here's how the two sound with a little adjustment. Set the effects however you like, and it will save on exit, and it's that easy. Two things to remember, one, most of these are 32-bit effects, so they will not work on the new 64-bit version of Virtual DJ 2020. You will need to install and use the 32-bit version of Virtual DJ 2020 if you want to use these effects. And two, since Virtual DJ 7 is so old and no longer supported, I'm not sure how long these effects will be there on their site and also how long they will actually work inside Virtual DJ 2020, but for now, you have them. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Virtual DJ How To, and I hope that this topic helped. There's a lot more coming, so if you have a topic that you would like to see me cover, feel free to drop me a line. Until next time, this is DJ Michael Joseph saying take care and God bless.